All right, my friends, here we are. Another edition of the Southern Soccer Idiot. We're going to jump right into a mail day episode. A um, couple things back from some uh, breaks that I entered into. Still expecting a big card out of one of these. Uh, I thought this bag was uh, something else. It's got my information still on it. I haven't blocked it out and I accidentally opened it. So we're going to start with that one. Um, don't want anybody to think that I packed this. Of course, there's not going to be anything that particularly uh, incredible in here. I don't think, of course, you know, our Zenit Liverpool type uh, buys and the breaks and whatnot. So I don't want anybody to think I snuck in like a 52 rook, rookie Mickey Mantle or something like that. And all of a sudden, oh, wow, look, I won this extremely expensive card. That didn't happen. So just take a look here through the Zenit cards. Nothing special. Refractor for Luniev there. Teammates refractor. Okay, nothing special there. I did get a free uh, top loader. All right. And then some uh, 2010 World Cup cards from uh, when they were in South Africa. Stadium card. Park Ji Sung. Who's that? Uh, Philip Lom. Kovacic. France card. That's kind of neat. Oh, pretty good looking card. Uh, Joel Matip, wow, look at that, look at young Joel Matip there for Cameroon, unfortunately injured for Liverpool now, very cool to see him back in younger days, Hitzberger, Thomas Hitzberger, um, I guess that's the emblem card or whatever there for the World Cup, kind of neat, Got schedule on the back, uh, Mesut Ozil, Refractor, Andre Pirlo, Souza, can't read that. Gilardino, Chiellini, wow, Giorgio Chiellini, his younger days. Looking mighty old at Juventus now, but oh, there he is. I don't know why this one in a top loader. We know we're big fans of Andre Iniesta, and uh, that's that wasn't his last World Cup, but Spain did win the World Cup in South Africa that year. Let me give more respect to that card. Tim Howard, wow, a very young Tim Howard. USA, and then Javi Hernandez. Wow, so look at there. Best midfield duo in history right there, boys and girls. You had these two guys running around in the middle. You can do whatever you want to with a team. You can, you can win a World Cup with no strikers if you've got two midfielders like that. If you look back on uh, Spain's setup during the 2010 World Cup, they all sometimes played a 4-6-0, which means they had no recognize uh, actual strikers up front. I guess David Silva would have been the closest thing to a striker and he's more of like an attacking midfielder or a winger, but they won the World Cup with no striker on the field at any time. Pretty much every now and then Fernando Torres would jump in there, but right, let's see, we got several things in here. So let's just pull right on out there. We'll start with our Zenit stuff. Get it loose. Got some speckles in there, look like coming up. Base card, base card, base card, refractor for teammates again. Bunch of base cards, Lunia refractor again. There's a Juizy speckles like that. We've got one of those already, I believe. Juba green and Osmoon green there. Are those numbered, yes, those. 32 to 99 and 34 of 99. Very cool. Go very well with the collection. Supporting Zenit. And then we had Russia on some breaks. So what I have here. Base cards. Juba from, from uh, Zenit there. And we had a blue Zobnin, very pretty card. Uh, 59 of 225 there, 59 of 225, very cool. So we got one more big packet in there. No, I'll just, well, that's still not, still have not found our big, big card yet. More base cards, nothing terribly outstanding there. And then our, we had a refractor.
refractor for Kudrashov and a red, white, and blue Mario Fernandez. Those are not numbered, but very pretty card. All right, boys and girls, that was a real quick mail day for the Southern Soccer Idiot. Like over here, subscribe over here. Thanks again. See you soon.